Hey everyone, it's Amanda here with Shaquelle and I'm really looking forward to bringing you a quick review on the wig I have on right now called Queen Comfort by Ellen Villa. So Queen Comfort is part of Ellen Villa's hair power collection and it sits sort of just between chin level and shoulder length and it's a very flicked out piece with a lot of texture going on. It also has some really lovely face framing layers at the front to create a little bit of a bang here. So let me talk a little bit about the cap. So this cap is fully hand tied, it has a lace front and it has a monofilament left part going on. As a European brand, Ellen Villa's wigs are known to fit a little bit smaller than most of the other wig brands. So this one I find is no exception as it does fit more like a petite average sized cap. I myself am a true petite size and this cap actually fits me quite well, especially around the circumference of my head. Just for your reference, my circumference is about 20.5 inches and I have the Velcro straps on the biggest setting of this wig and it's still fitting very snug all the way around. In terms of the rest of the wig and how it fits, so like I said, I do measure a true petite size. I'm about 11 and a half inches front to back. So I do find there is a little bit of bulkiness up here, but it's not too much. This is a wig that I find fits me pretty well and it's quite comfortable. In general, your hand tied caps are going to fit a little bit more snug than your open wefted caps are going to fit. So I just finished saying that this is a really comfortable cap. And I think part of the reason is because it's a very lightweight cap. And I think that's due to the fact that the density of this wig is quite a light density. There's not a ton of hair in here. And also because this is a hand tied cap, there's really no permatease. All of this lift you see just kind of comes from the general style of the wig itself. A hand tied cap is also going to allow the hair on the cap to move quite a bit more naturally, kind of in an all around direction as if it were your own hair. So overall, between the density, the weight of this wig, the comfort of this cap, and the movement of this hair, I, I'm really enjoying it. Now let me talk a little bit about the monofilament part. So having a monofilament part means that your part line is going to give you the illusion of hair growth right from your scalp. Now usually on a monofilament part, you're not often able to change the part without it looking too wiggy. However, on this one, I feel like you can almost get away with changing the part anyway, just because the rest of the cap is hand tied and it still kind of works. The one issue I do have with this wig though, is that on me, the top of this wig is not sitting very flush to my head. It's quite bumpy and it's almost bubbling up. It's hard to tell. I don't know if you can see as I run my finger, if you can see my finger bumping up but it's not sitting as flush against my scalp as I want it to. Now, I don't know if it's because of the sizing, but I almost feel like even if I were to take this off, which I will in a minute, it still kind of bumps right at the monofilament. Now, the lace front on this is a true temple to temple lace. A lot of wigs generally just come right up here, but this one truly does go right down to your temples. So it is a good size lace front. However, it's not extended very far forward. You can see that the hair is knotted pretty much right to the end of the lace. I find that on me, this lace is quite visible. So I feel like I would have to put a little bit of makeup on the lace in order to blend it a bit more with my skin tone. Now let me quickly talk about the ear tabs on this wig. So like I said earlier, I measure a true petite size. So my ear to ear measurement, when I measure it all the way over sort of the crown of my head, all the way to my other ear, I measure about 12 inches. So when I'm looking at the ear tabs here, they definitely sit quite a bit higher than my ear. Um, and quite a bit higher than most wigs would usually sit on me. The color I'm wearing is called Chocolate Mix. So Chocolate Mix is basically your medium to dark brown color with some really nice golden highlights throughout it. I'll take this off for you so we can take a look at the inside cap construction. So here's that lace front that extends all the way to the temples here. 
So as I was mentioning earlier, a lot of wigs just kind of come up to this point here, right on top of the ear tabs, but this one truly goes a little bit further, which is nice. Here's that monofilament part I was talking about. And as I said, it was kind of bubbling and bumping a bit. And you can see here, even when I'm holding it here, it, it does kind of bump. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's just this particular wig and how this particular one was manufactured. Um, so something to just keep in mind if you're really particular about how your wig lays on your head. Um, so here's that monofilament part here and the rest of the cap is completely hand tied. So that means all of the fibers are just individually hand sewn into the wig. So a hand tied cap isn't going to be quite as stretchy as your wefted cap. However, they do still have a little bit of stretch to them, especially on the sides. The bottom of this is going to have some wefts just sewn into the very bottom here, up, just above the nape. This cap also has some very soft velvet ear tabs. And then the back or the nape has your adjustable Velcro straps. So overall, I really do like this wig. The style is really cute. The density is perfect. The hair moves very naturally. It's extremely lightweight and the cap is pretty comfortable on. Other than that, uh, just keep in mind, if you are a true average size, this might not fit you because it is more of a petite average. And also, as I mentioned, the monofilament part on this wig um, is not sitting as flush with my scalp as I would generally like it to. Feel free to visit our website at chiquelle.ca if you're in Canada, chiquelle.com in the United States, or chiquelle.com.au. You can find Queen Comfort by Ellen Villa as well as many more wigs there. Hope this video was helpful for you and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.